Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. This is Physio Quest series and today we are going to discuss about a very interesting case. Why interesting case? Because the information given in the case is something like that patient is having right CVA and patient reports that he is feeling thirsty and asks for a can of, can of soda. Therapist gives him a can of soda telling that how to open it and open it with the right side hand and then drink it. But patient is not following it. After the treatment session is over, uh, therapist observes that patient is opening the can by himself and drinking the can of soda and keeps it down. So what does this mean? What condition patient is suffering from? That is what we have to find out. Now, what do you think in this condition that patient is making fool out of therapist that he didn't or he's showing attitude that he didn't follow what therapist has told? Uh, it is nothing like that, my dear friends. We will be discussing what according to options, what can be the correct option over here. So option given to us are the first one is anosognosia. Now, what do you mean by anosognosia? So anosognosia is nothing but uh, when you are completely denying the fact that you are having some deformity or some problem. So when patient is in a state because of some uh, conditions in the brain, that patient completely denies that he is affected by some uh, disease or disorders and not ready to accept at all. That is what we call it as anosognosia. And in this given situation, we don't see anything like this happening. Why? Because Patient is actually tra taking treatment for whatever he is suffering from. So that is why he is not denying the fact. But only thing is he didn't follow the command of the therapist. So that is why anosognosia cannot be the correct option over here. Now the second option given to us is ideational apraxia. Now yes, apraxia is something which is like patient is not able to perform certain activities. But ideational apraxia means patient doesn't know how to use the tool at all. Like uh, patient doesn't know how to use brush or patient doesn't know how to use that uh, uh, soda opener or patient doesn't know how to uh, use that comb. So basically doesn't know, doesn't have any idea about using any tools. So that is what happens in the ideational apraxia. So if patient doesn't know, patient will not be doing even after the therapy session is over. So that is why this option also doesn't look like suitable one. The third option given to us is a uh, patient is having unilateral neglect. Now unilateral neglect also is kind of common with uh, CVA. But here uh, unilateral neglect means what? That patient is completely ignoring one side of the body. And this is not the case because again after the therapy session is over patient has performed that activity. The only thing is patient did not perform when therapist is instructing to perform it. So that is why this unilateral neglect also cannot be the correct answer over here. The remaining option which is left is ideomotor apraxia. Now my dear friends, this is the correct answer. Why? Because in ideomotor apraxia, it happens that patient can perform activities by themselves. If but they will not be able to perform it when they are given instructions. So basically they are not able to follow instructions, but they will do it if they want to do it by themselves. So that is a condition uh, which we call it as ideomotor apraxia and that exact situation is given in the question. And that is why here in this question option D is the correct answer. I hope many of you have got this correctly and still if you have any doubts do let me know in the correct comment section and you want to see, if you want to see more and more questions like this uh, follow Physio Trends channel as well as uh, ask us in the comment section that in which particular segment you want to see more questions about.